housemates at Sundance Film Festival, Tamara Tig, along with her partner, Michael Lipoma, won the prestigious Slam Dance Grand Prize for screenwriting for their screenplay called The Fall. We did an interview upstairs at the lounge of Slam Dance uh, right on Main Street, but I was such a mess that day. For some reason, I could not get it together. I think I was just really tr tired, and so the intro is just trash. So I'm starting the video at the part where Tamara starts um, giving us the outline of the fall. Well, it was a process that actually started about seven years ago. Um, Michael and I are writing partners, and we met a producer at the American Film Market in Santa Monica, and she had this family story she wanted to tell about a KGB double agent in the family. And it wasn't something they were really excited about telling that story, so we changed it a bit. And so we made it, we set it in 1989, and it's about a single working mother whose son, 18-year-old son, is framed for murder and he disappears. And it's the lengths a mother will go to to save her child. So she actually has to become a spy to try to save him. Wow. And then her kind of plan for revenge against the, the people who put her in that position, she puts together this plan with the help of an American journalist. And her plan for revenge is woven into the actual events that brought down the Berlin Wall. That's really... I mean, it's always these, the smallest stories mm. that have a huge impact. Like, when they say it's one person right. that can make a big difference, it really is. Well, and it was actually started, I mean, there's a lot of different factors that go into it. Uh, a lot of Americans think that it was Reagan saying, Gorbachev, tear down that wall. Um, but that actually was two years before the event. Um, it was actually brought about by a lot of very brave East Germans and other people working behind the lines. Um, especially, there are two journalists that smuggled videotapes out across the border. And when East German citizens saw that, it emboldened them because they were doing these peaceful demonstrations that grew exponentially a couple months before the wall fell. It went from a, you know, a few hundred to thousands to right before the wall fell, a million peaceful demonstrators marched in East Berlin. And that's, that's what really contributed to the wall falling. See, and these are the stories that we don't know. Right. And this is probably why Slam Dance and also a lot of other contests have really gravitated towards this story. Um, Lisa, tell us what else uh, the fall has won. Yeah, well, we, yeah, we have gotten a lot of good responses, I think, because we really tried to tell the story from the perspective of that, that universal struggle of a parent and, and to go to any lengths to save their child. So I think that really resonated with a lot of people. And then set against such a huge historic backdrop, there's never been an American film that deals... There's never been an American film that deals with the fall of the wall. So we did a lot of research, and we pulled together kind of all of these different stories of the East German people and their struggles. Um, and then with kind of lots of revisions, obviously, but we were semi-finalists at Nickel Fellowship, um, which is the Academy Award um, sponsor. Yeah. Um, we got a silver award in historical features for Page, which is a big one. We were semi-finalists at Austin Film Festival, also a very respected one. So we're, yeah, we're very happy with the response, and we're, along with Stephanie Bell, and then Michael Lopoma and I formed a production company, Hatline Productions, because we want to make this an independent film so we can be very true to history. And what the other thing that people don't realize is the Berlin Wall finally fell because of a communication error. And that's a, that's a surprising thing that people don't know. No, I don't think we, you know, the average person knows enough at all. And like you say, though, it tie, when you just think about a mother's love, that makes it universal mm -hmm. and very interesting. But. Um, how do you feel about research? I mean, is that a, a part of screenwriting that you do like? Um, I was a journalist first, and so all the screenplays I write are grounded in reality because I, I think life is so amazing and so complicated and crazy that you don't have to make things up. It's, it's just finding those stories and finding the unique perspective that speaks to 
a wide variety of people. So I, I love doing the research, and especially as we dug into this, the, the stories that, that came to light that um, the Stasi dug through people's garbage. If they had a rapper from the West, they would disappear. They were thrown in prison for almost nothing. And by the time the wall fell, the Stasi had very, very detailed records of over a third of the East German citizens. And a lot of those records are still could be seen at Checkpoint Charlie Museum in, in Berlin. Because it really hasn't been that long. No, I mean, in 1989, 1989. Yeah. it was up 28 years. And the idea of people living in a prison for all that time and that it notably fell with just peaceful demonstration. It wasn't bloodshed on the part of the demonstrators at all. Well, Tamara, I just want to thank you so much for have, having this interview with us because I just think it's uh, incredible when I get to meet somebody that's uh, starting out in another level of their career. Yeah. And so that's yeah. exciting. And um, I really wish you and Michael really a lot of success with um, both Hatline Productions and with The Fall and with everything else that's coming your way. And I hope we stay in touch. Absolutely, thanks so much. Look for The Fall coming near you, hopefully in the next couple years. <laughs>
And that's how I came to look at Tesla. Not as, he has so many lives. You can make so many movies about him. He's so infinitely interesting. And each period has its own little movie that you can't, as Michael said, you can't be the definitive one. He was such a unique soul.